Step 4. Cross-referencing markers. In this step, we will add section markers to the project. We will link the new markers to each other, as well as existing section views. Linked markers are useful when placing several instances of the same detail marker in different sections. They can also be cross-referenced and simplify the navigation between various section views of the project. Activate the first preset view located in the cross-referencing markers folder in the Navigator view map. Zoom in and pan through the longitudinal section of the project. We will add some linked markers to the sections. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Switch to the section tool in the toolbox and activate the Section 4 Favorite in the Favorites palette. Make sure to place an unlinked section marker first. Open the pop-up list in the info box and select Place Unlinked Marker from the list. Create the section marker by clicking on the points of label 1.1 and 1.2 to create its length. Finally, click on the point of label 1.3 to define its direction. Select the section line you just created. Open the Section Marker Selection Settings dialog from the info box. The general panel displays no reference ID or name since we placed an unlinked section marker. Let's link this marker now manually to an existing project viewpoint. Click the Unlinked Marker drop-down list and select Linked Marker option. In the appearing Define Marker Reference dialog, make sure that the Marker Will Refer To field is set to the selected viewpoint. The Define Marker Reference dialog is similar to the project map. It lists all viewpoints to which you can link this marker. Select S02 cross-section from the list in the Sections container and click the OK button to proceed. The Section Marker Settings dialog now reflects the reference ID and name of the referenced project section. Click OK to accept the changes and close this dialog. The updated section marker on the floor plan now references the S2 section. We can use this linked section marker to navigate to the referred section from the current view. Shift-click to select the section marker. Activate the Open Section option from the context menu. ARCHICAD opens the S2 cross-section. Activate the 8.4.3 preset view from the view map. Make sure that the Place Unlinked Marker option is selected in the info box. Create another unlinked section marker in the position defined by labels 1.1 to 1.3. Select this section marker and open its settings dialog. Select the Linked Marker option in the general page of the dialog. Link the newly created section marker to the S1 Longitudinal Section Project view. Perform the same steps as it was presented for the other marker. Select the newly created section marker and navigate back to S1 Longitudinal Section by activating the Open section from the context menu. Activate the 8.4.4 preset view in the navigator. Create another unlinked section line in the position defined by labels 1.1 to 1.3. Select this section line and open its settings dialog. Link the section marker to the S3 cross-section using the steps previously outlined for the other markers.
Select the newly created section marker and navigate back to the S3 cross section. Right click it and activate the open section option from the context menu. Activate the last preset view in the navigator view map. Create one more unlinked section marker in the position defined by labels 1.1 to 1.3. Select the section line and open its settings dialog. Link back the section marker to the S1 longitudinal section using the steps previously presented for the other markers. In this way, we'll have a linked section marker in both sections S02 and S03, referring to section S1. Select the newly created section marker and navigate back to S1 longitudinal section using the context menu method outlined earlier. All the section markers are now placed and linked. This concludes Chapter 8.